In the fourth year of Dawan under Thor, son of Jehavi, he received from the Holy Council in Buru, of Donga, in Etheria, a dispensation from the Orient chiefs, decreeing to the earth 100 years is travail, 100 years is tribulation, in Vosent, a perpetual roaring of atmospheric elements. Thor called up Waak, god of Rhines, and said to him, Jehavi has put a sore, a grievous, travail upon these heavens. Go to Halu and command him to provide an avalanche sufficient to deliver 20 billion atmospherians to the Aegean forests of Ganaya. For the inhabitants of these earthbound heavens are too dark to endure the vocent of a hundred years, and would be precipitated to the earth and engage in fetalism. Waak, god of Rhines, knowing the condition of the atmospherians, proceeded at once to Halu, informing him of the decrees of the higher heavens, and of the command of Thor, son of Jehavi. Thor then sent word to his lords and marshals, informing them also of his command, and, further, commanding them to bring all the lowest grades of angels from all parts of earth and heaven, to be concentrated in Gao, where the avalanche was to come for them. Thor appointed to Sienich, goddess of Ares, to superintend the reception of the angels of the lowest grades, and arranged them for entrance into the avalanche, and he gave into her command, to assist her, 500,000 marshals and captains, and 1 million essenors. And she apportioned these to their respective duties and places. To accomplish all this, Thor allotted 77 days. And the proceedings were so wisely carried out that on the 77th day, the avalanche was present and all the angels ready to enter it. Accordingly these things were accomplished. The 20 billion angels were carried away on the avalanche, which was walled around on every side with pillars of fire, so that not one spirit could escape, even if he was chaotic or imbecile. Waak and Halu had entire charge of the migration, and they proceeded upward and outward from the earth, till they reached seven diameters of the earth's vortex, which brought them into the forests of Ganaya, where they landed them, the angels of the lowest grades. To provide for the reception of these angels of the lowest grades, to Sienich, goddess of Ares, who had charge of the twenty billion, had previously sent there to the forests of Ganaya, a sufficient force of angels, wise and strong so that when the avalanche landed, all things were ready. And according to their development, the angels of the low grades were apportioned at different sections of the Ganaya forests, with suitable officers and teachers provided for them. By Tisinich, these things were done. And she established a throne of Aji, provided a temple of council, and provided all things that are required in the government of a new colony. And she provided a god in Ganaya to reign after the expiration of dawn, promoting to this position one Hazadika, a surveyor in Thalasia, the third heaven of Gao, and she gave him the title, God of Ganaya, for 400 years. Now, in reference to the founding of an Aegean habitation in Etheria and, since to both Corporeans and Atmospherians, the OSP is written, this succeeding account is rendered therewith to both mortals and angels of the lower heaven. The Aetherians gather up the atomic elements floating amid the Aetherian waves, and, giving them axial motion, they propel them forth. On their way, the atomic elements aggregate, till, from the size of a mite, a very small bit, the aggregation grows as large as the whole earth. But this world is habitable within and on its surface by the spirits of the dead, the angels. Jehovah is said. In the same way that the solid earth, the stars and moon all float in the unseen firmament, so do atomic parts to all things float in eth. As the earth is to the air and the ether above, so is an atom of corporate to the ethic solution. Jehovah is said. Do not think, O oh man, that there is only one member in my person, and that different conditions and states of that one comprise my universe. The foolish man has said, the blood is the flesh and bones, and the flesh and bones are simply a state of blood, but he does not see that I do not make flesh out of blood, but out of that which the blood carries. And in the same way, 
I carry the corpor of my person in the eat of my being. In other words, atmospherian worlds and corporeal worlds are not built from Eid, but from that which is carried by the Eid. Thus, the unseen is not just simply a rarefied form of corpor, for there is more than one member, more than just corpor, in Jehovah's person. Now, as to Thor, son of Jehovah, after the departure of the Avalanza, he provided a new god for the earth and her heavens, crowned him, and bestowed upon him the triangle which had been handed down since the inhabitation of the earth by man. As for the remaining time of dawn, Thor traveled to all regions of the earth and her heavens, making records of these, to be carried with him to Buru in the time of his ascent. In consequence of the depletion caused by the resurrection of the 20 billion to Ganaya, God and his lords were greatly relieved of their burdens in Gao and on the earth.